Hey everybody, I wanted to show you these um, ladybugs that I'm making for a uh, pocket letter. So the pocket letter I'm making is, well, ladybugs. So I made these little cute ladybugs. So I wanted to show you how I did it. So I have a Cricut um, die cutter and I use this size circle. This is the second smallest one. So there's the smallest one and the second smallest one. So I cut red and black circles out this size and then that size for the head. So then I just cut like a little triangle out because that's going to be like so you can see the two side wings and I just use my hole punch. Um, I don't have a smaller I don't have a smaller hole punch. Um, so I just made four little holes, then you glue that on there, like that, and then you just glue that like that, and then I have these really tiny googly eyes, and then uh, you just glue them on, just glue them on. And then you'll have another little ladybug. So there, I just used glue stick for the paper. And because it's a thin um, construction paper. And then I just used a little bit of liquid glue for the eyeballs. And there you go. Got two little ladybugs. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make um, two more. So there, there's my four little ladybugs. So I'm just going to let those dry and figure out my next thing I want to make for my pocket letter. I don't really have a base, I, I don't really have an idea of what I want it to look like. So I'm just kind of going, I wanted to make ladybugs, so I'm making ladybugs. And yeah, we'll see what comes next for this ladybug pocket letter. I found these images of ladybugs online and they're black and white and I just printed them out and I colored them. Colored, colored them in red and cut them out. So I have three, diff three different styles of ladybugs. So now I gotta figure out what my background's gonna look like. So I have this flower die cut, so I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to use solid red, large red, or small red, or um, try to bring in another color, because mostly everything is um, black and red, right? So if I bring in green, it'll just be too Christmassy. If I bring in purple. Purple looks nice. I like purple and red together. Um, what else could I do? Yellow. Yellow. Hmm. Not totally sure here. There's blue here somewhere. I don't think I got enough blue. I think I used blue for another project. So yeah, I think I'm going to rule out green because it's too Christmassy. I don't like yellow. So what color? Hmm. Not totally sure. So I got my red um, squares cut out. And I'm just trying, sort of planning um, what I want it to look like. So yeah, I'm just at the planning stage. Just I haven't glued anything. Um, for the side here, I put a bit of brown sparkle tape so that when I glue these on, there's something for it to stick to because it doesn't really stick too well to the plastic. Um, I'm going to use double-sided tape. I, that works. I've tried glue before, but it just glue just kind of peels off. So yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out 
how it's going to look. So this is what I got so far. Um, and it's going to need more black. Um, this the brown tape is mostly going to be covered. So yeah. Yeah, this is what I got so far. So I decided I needed more color. So I made use my flower die cut and made purple flowers. And I added them to the edging. To my edge. And then oh I said I needed more black. And I also so this is what I ended up with. Uh, I got more black and I added green and so yeah so I just used my hole punch punched um, holes in the red and then glued the black on the back the black piece on the back so yeah so I made like a little scene um, and I used my little ladybug that I colored and cut out and then yeah so it looks like ladybug background I used my little googly eye one. So yeah, this is how it turned out. And I found my sparkle ladybugs. I put them all in the center with my green leaves. And yeah. So I didn't bother with the big ones. Um, I thought they were just too big. So that is what the front looks like. And this is the back. So I had a whole bunch of extra flowers. So I just put them in a little bag, a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to get rid of the flowers. And I happened to find Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is getting hard to find in the packages like this. Now it's all that liquid squeeze Kool-Aid. So um, yeah, so I got a um, pack of grape. And then I have a bunch of these wooden pieces, which I want to use up. So I use clouds and mushrooms and some leaves. So it's kind of a neat tree, kind of goes with it, goes with it. And then I found a whole bunch of these tags at the dollar, dollar store. So I thought I'm going to use those. They got birds and flowers and that on them. They're really pretty. And my sparkles. I've been using sparkles a lot lately. Um, so I got the gold and silver sparkles, and these are all my extra ladybugs. I included those, and then I got cherry Kool-Aid, and then my pretty, um, butterflies. I love these butterflies. I use the big ones for birthday cards, and I put the smaller ones in pocket letters. So these are the gold and pink ones. And my favorite summer tea, um, it's a berry tea. I got the French side up here, but it's um like berry berry tea. It's really good. I like it. And yeah, so that is the back. So that is my that is my ladybug pocket letter. And yeah, later.